Mud flood conspiracy theorists often use photos of the St Mary Magdalene Church in Omaha, Nebraska as proof that there was once a mud flood. They see photos of the church with soil excavation under it and without hesitation proclaim it to be the victim of the mud flood, an unsubstantiated geologic or even magical event with no known perpetrators, and after which the church was then dug out, also by persons unknown. This video will accomplish what all the mud flood videos never do. It will use actual research from a wide variety of sources to learn the real history of this important landmark in Omaha. The first St Mary Magdalene Church was built in 1868 and was constructed on the north side of Douglas Street between 16th and 17th Streets. At the time, the site of the church was described as being out in the wilderness without streetcar and viaduct connection with the city proper. This first church unfortunately burnt down on the 3rd of February, 1894. A link below gives further details regarding the establishment of Catholic churches, including St. Mary Magdalene Church in Omaha. The second church, locally known as the Doll Church, due to its small size and toy-like appearance, was built of brick on the same site as the first church. However, due to increased attendance, the parish decided to build a new, larger church at the corner of Dodge Street and 19th Street. This is the site of the present church. The church was opened in 1903, and this article from the Omaha Daily Bee, dated June 28, 1903, describes the rather straightforward first service that was held there. As you can see in the photo that accompanies the article, the church had not yet been enlarged. It retains its original, smaller design as the surrounding landscape was still about 17 years away from being regraded. To understand the history of the church, we need to also be aware of the topography of the Omaha area. This map shows downtown Omaha with the Missouri River at right. The pink and purple areas show the lowest areas of ground and which also are the places where the city of Omaha was established. However, as one travels west, the land elevation begins to rise and it is here, marked with a red square, that the church was built. The land in this area sharply begins to rise and was as such an impediment to the continued growth of Omaha. As a consequence, portions of the landscape there had to be regraded, which means reducing the sharp ascent of the landscape to allow for easier transportation and for the city to expand. This wasn't the only area of Omaha to be regraded and various regrading projects occurred between the early 1880s and came to an end in 1920, with the area around St Mary Magdalene Church along Dodge Street the last to be regraded. An example of the effects of the regrading are evident in these two photos. In the first photo, we see a house built between 18th and Douglas Streets, taken in July 1891. And this photo, taken six months later, shows the exact same house, but after the landscape has been lowered due to the regrading. Obviously, the house has not been dug out of a mud flood, but instead has simply witnessed the land around it being lowered. This article dated the 19th of January, 1919, in the Omaha Bee newspaper, outlined how lowering sections along Dodge Street would help to ensure that Omaha did not become a one-street town. It also stated that traffic congestion would be eased with a lower road. The company employed to do the massive regrade work in the vicinity of the church was Condon and Bolin, under the supervision of Roy N. Tal, who was the Commissioner of Public Improvements, and John Bruce, City Engineer, and they employed specially requisitioned trains to assist in the mammoth task of shifting the dirt away from the area. While many houses and businesses had to be demolished to make way for this massive engineering project, some buildings were retained for their cultural, historic or religious value, and one of those was the St Mary Magdalene Church. Architect John Lantensa Sr. was employed by Monsignor Bernard Sign, a long-serving pastor of the church, to see to it that the church would be altered and preserved in a way that would continue to anchor it to its location and change land surface while also retaining its Gothic style and architectural integrity. The Omaha Daily Bee reported that on August 1, 1919, a section of paving along Dodge Street had begun to be torn out, signalling the beginning of the final phase of the Omaha regrade. This photo of the St Mary Magdalene Church shows the removal of a vast amount of the original ground surface from under the church. And that is the key word, under. It is plainly obvious that the church has very shallow foundations and that the land around it is being lowered, leaving the church in its original position. 
You can also see the scrape marks from the machine digger distinctly visible in the dirt. To meet the new ground surface, the architect and engineers added an entire new ground floor to the church. The new brick and stonework is much lighter in colour than the materials used in the original church above. Consequently for the church, the original main door was now left well above ground surface. The new lower level was completed and the church reopened in 1921. The original interior looked like this before the regrade, while the post-regrade work resulted in the redesigned interior to look like this. The original floor level now looks down upon the altar. By 1920, the huge regrading work was coming to an end, and an article in the World Herald newspaper, dated the 16th of May 1920, stated that a total of 350,000 cubic yards of dirt were removed during this final phase of the project. Not only was Dodge Street regraded from a 12% to a 7% grade to allow for easier urban development, it also made it easier for cars, a still relatively new invention of the time, to surmount the hilly areas in the west of the city. In fact, Dodge Street near 20th Street ended up being 36 feet lower than what it originally had been in 1880. And what happened to all that dirt that was dug out for the regrade? It was shipped down towards the Missouri River and used as landfill to help fill in the swampy areas still present near eastern downtown Omaha at that time. As for the church, what were once doors became either windows or in the case here, a fire escape. In 2007, a steeple was erected on top of the tower of the church, yet another example of the continuing evolution of the church. It is abundantly obvious that the photographic, topographic and newspaper evidence precludes a mysterious, unexplained, fantastical mud flood catastrophe. The church was built relatively small in the early 20th century and was considerably enlarged nearly 20 years later as a result of the Omaha regrade, despite the deliberately false claims made by mud flood conspiracy theorists.